Hi, I'm Keely McBride with Next Up. I'm here with Ricardo Acuñe, the Executive Director of the Parkland Institute at the Public Interest Alberta Conference. Ricardo, can you tell us more about your work and how it relates to revenue reform and improved public service? Sure. Uh, what we do at the Parkland Institute is we're a think tank. So we do research on public policy alternatives. And um, especially for the last 10 to 15 years, a lot of our work has focused on this the concept of revenue reform, the idea that um, in Alberta we're so dependent on oil and gas and our government is so dependent on oil and gas for revenues that um, Albertans are actually not paying enough through taxes to fund our public services, which is why every time the price of oil goes down, the government has to either run a deficit or cut teachers or make classrooms bigger or all of that, right? Um, so our research shows how we could fix our revenue system, how we could fix our tax system, so that uh, we can actually afford the public services that we have, and so that we don't actually have to cut services every time the price of oil goes down. Right. Okay, great. How do you see Albertans using the concepts of revenue reform, like you were just speaking of, and public services as a means to advocate for a fair and just Alberta? Well, I think one of the key things is, um, often we start to talk about taxes, and we start talking about taxes, and when we're having those conversations, we forget what the taxes are for. Right. We forget why we're paying taxes. And uh, people get angry. People have framed this sense of government stealing our money, right? Government taking our money and doing something with it. So um, the idea here is let's actually talk about the public services. Let's talk about what we want. Let's figure out what we want our health care to look like, what we want our education to look like, what we want our social services to look like. What's the best way we can do that? What are the services we want? And then we sit down and say, how much is this going to cost? Right. And how do we pay for those things fairly? How do we make sure that every Albertan is contributing the right amount, that every Alberta is contributing what they can mm -hmm. to making sure that we have those services for all of us? So that's, that's that connection. And then once we figure out these are the services that Albertans want, mm -hmm. this is how we're going to pay for them, then our goal is to make the politicians actually listen. Right. To Alberta, right. right? Because at the same time as the population as a whole is saying, this is the tax system we want, this is the services we want, we have this whole power base of corporations and businesses right. who are saying, well, this is what we want in terms of taxes, this is what we want our profits to be, and we don't want you guys to regulate us in any way, so there's a competition. And right. We need to, in terms of advocacy, reinforce that this is still a democracy, and that it's actually the people who get to decide what it all looks like, and that's, that's where the advocacy part comes in, right? right. That's, let's figure this out and then let's start mobilizing, let's start talking to other Albertans, let's make sure people are talking to their government reps to make this happen. And do you feel that there's a, a sense of Albertans um, looking for a greater involvement in democracy? I think there's been, I mean, for, I think for the last 40 years, this, this move to the right um, and not just in Alberta, across North America, over the last 40 years, this move to the right has actually served to disconnect us from government. And it really has set up government as something that's over there. We've bought into this myth that government is inefficient, that government is bad, that government is corrupt, that government is self-interested. And, and we've really come to believe these things. We've lost sight of the fact that government is just really us. Right? right? Government is the collective expression of our wills. That's, that's what democracy is about. So I think... Um, if we can have these conversations, if we can move people away from these ideas that government is bad and move them to a place where they see that government is actually us, government is our collective expression, then we can start to regain some of that, some of that sense of democracy. But you're right, I mean, right now, people aren't there, right? People, because we've heard these messages so much over the last 40 years that government is bad, that government is inefficient, that taxes are theft, that we're overtaxed, you hear those things enough, you start to believe them. Right. And we've started to believe them. And I think... The point of our conversations needs to be to bring people back to a place where we actually um, believe that there's value in taxes and that right. we can make democracy work. Excellent. So uh, just to wrap up, what would be the key message you'd like to get out to Albertans um, based on the concept and theme of a just and fair Alberta at this conference? I think, I mean, a just and fair Alberta, there's no prescription. It is what we want it to be. Nice. And the way we find that out is by having conversations. And having those conversations from a place where we're open to different possibilities and different alternatives, where we can step away from these messages that we've been fed for the last 40 years and maybe say, what do we want it to look like? What do we want our health care to look like? It's about conversations. That's the starting point. Great. 
Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.